All right, y'all, so I just made a paper turbine or a turbo. I really want to use it as a some type of turbo or something like that. I tried to hook it up to the back of my single cylinder, but it is spin and everything, but it would it would not spin as fast as is you know what I'm saying to get that good sound and little whistle sound. But you know, a little simple little turbo. I can I can take that little thing out. Oh, uh, look. That's all I did right here. A little simple design just to see what would have happened. Just for testing purposes. And a cool little thing right here. Y'all, this is the first time I ever made something like this, so that's actually kind of cool. But yeah, it works and everything, but you know, I, I gotta make a big engine to get enough enough back pressure, enough exhaust pressure to spin that thing, so. But I will do a little run with me just to show y'all how to sound and everything. Oh yeah, and also I do have a, a little plate to go on the other side, but I don't wanna glue it down because then it looks like this, but I like to see the inside. You know, I like to see, I like to see how that looks. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how it sound real quick. Hold on. That thing will fly out. It will fly out. And then I can put this thing on. But this thing will eventually, it's going to eventually come off. So, yeah, you got the, that's how it really looks right here. Air comes in through there. Air comes out through the side. It doesn't drive this shaft right here. It's just sitting on the shaft. But, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to run this thing real quick. All right, y'all. I'm about to put it to the balloons. It takes a little bit of pressure to spin it with the smallest. Oh. All right, we're back. Ooh, the, the thing came out and everything. I might just have to glue it down, y'all. I might have to glue it down. I might have to glue it down. All right, this is what it looks like without the side plate. That was crazy. I might I have to put something there to something to just retain that thing and then we can actually get a, a full run and see how fast it goes. I wonder how fast that was. I know I can get it past 10k RPMs. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. This will go on the back of one of this will go on one of my engines. I don't know which one yet, but I am planning on making a a boxer four, like a Subaru engine. And, you know, they got the turbos on it, so I might just add a turbo to that engine just because it has a... I know it'll have enough airflow to, to keep this thing spinning. But, yeah, y'all, let me know.